It's just a quick video to show I have one of the boards in my trailer rotted out. And as you can see, it's <laughs> I had a big hole in the floor. So I went down and bought a bunch of lumber thinking I'm going to replace the whole floor in this thing. By the time I got the one board out, the other board didn't look so bad to me. <laughs> uh, but I just wanted to show uh, everybody I've seen in the videos are... Uh, cutting these trailers they cut this little uh, this little bar across here they cut a notch in it so they can drop the board down in it and I did this without cutting anything uh, as you can I've got it stuffed in both ends uh, this is a 16 foot trailer and basically what I did is I used that jack right there to uh, jack it up I stuffed it in this end down here and I uh, just pushed it all the way up in there as best I could and then took the jack and put it about about a third of the way down up here in the front and I said let me get this now to show you I set this thing down just like that just just shy of being in front of that board so I was just catching it on the on the edge Anyway, I jacked this thing up so that the other end of the board was up in the air a little ways. And uh, it was far enough up in the air that I could leave this jack. I could leave this jack with the board standing up and then straddle this board and hold it to keep it from falling over. And come back here and just push the end of the board down. Well, if the board was bowed since it's 16 foot. It bows without breaking. You're not going to crack it or anything. I didn't even hear it. I didn't even hear no noises out of it, but I pushed it down far enough that uh, it would fit down in the end of that thing, and then put a weight on the end of it to hold it down in there, a couple of center blocks, and go back over there and grab the grab the jack and let it down, and when it gets down close, I jerked it back out of the way, and the board just popped right down into place, so that's how you replace a board in your trailer without having to cut your trailer up re-weld anything I actually saw this on somebody else's video talking about it and out of all the videos I looked at on people fixing trailer trailer decks not a, not any of them except that one video mentioned anything about doing it this way and to me it was so much easier it took me you know longer to get the board out than it did to get it back in so there you go hope this helps somebody <laughs>